Hi guys, uh, I just want to let you know that the first four parts of the martial arts script will have some problems and um, don't worry about that, just carry on following the tutorials for the fourth part and once you reach that fourth part, I'll put a link in the description and the video itself to follow another video which solves the problems and um, then your master should be working perfectly, okay? So do not worry about the code, just copy what you see I'm typing, do not test the script, just keep on typing it, then go to the last part which is going to be called um, master look problem fix follow that and then your master looks should work fine enjoy hi guys and welcome to our first tutorial in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make your very own mouse look script I will not be going um, over the scope tutorial yet mouse look is basically rotating your camera up and down and left and right so let's open Unity. I'm just going to pause the video until it's fully loaded. Okay, Unity is loaded. First things first, go to File, create new project, uh, rename the project to something else. I'm just going to call mine um, Unity First Person Game. Uh, we need the character controllers, the scripts, and basic water, and then create. I'm just going to pause the video until Unity's created my new project for me. Yeah, my new project's ready. Right, first things first, let's create new folders. Name this folder as FPS Mouse Look or no uh, FPS Script. Sorry. Now let's create another folder. Let's call this FPS Models. Uh, this is going to contain all our prefabs for our game, guns, etc. You name it. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import some of my models. I'm going to show you two ways you can do this. I, I prefer the best. As you see, just right click on your folder and click Import New Asset. Look for your object and click on the Import button. As you can see, it imports the object with the material. But well, that's a really long way. I don't like that. As you can see the weapons there. Uh, so let's delete the material and the object and let's import it a different way. I'm just going to move Unity one side. I'm going to look for my um, 3D model. That's if I can find it. Um, uh, where did I put it? Um, I'm just gonna pause the video till I find it. Ah, uh, got it. Right, I'm just gonna drag my folder into my FPS models. It's gonna say it's it's um, importing them. I just paused it, and as you can see, the models are now in Unity. Now let's create some platforms so that we can walk on create a cube and then set its X skill to 100 and it's set to 100 and it's Y to 0 0.5 that's fine, move the camera a bit up well actually um, let's delete the camera for a second and go on character controllers Drag the first person controller to the screen. Place it above the platform. I'm just going to run this and show you what we're aiming for. As you can see, we can look up, down, left, and right. That's what we're aiming for in this tutorial. It's the mouse move script. So, 
go click on your first person controller click on the main camera and then delete the script called mouse look next click on the prefab itself and look for its mouse script as well remove it right let's start our own script shall we before we do actually now if we run it as you can see all we can do is walk back forward left and right save your scene I'm just going to call it Unity FPS tutorial. You can call yours whatever you like. Right, let's start working on our script. Right click on the script folder, create new JavaScript. I'm going to name this FPS Mouse Look. Once you've done that, double click on it and open it. I'm just gonna pause it so it opens. Yep, my mono develops open. Right, first things first, now that we've got the script, op uh, script open, I want to create a variable that would store our mouse x and mouse y. Uh, so go to the very top, leave, uh, leave some white space. And we're going to use a um, public enum. Let's define this as rotation axis. Uh, open curly brace and close curly brace. Now within that, let's insert mouse x. equals zero comma mouse y equals one now I'm gonna explain a little bit about enum enum is a keyword that allows you to um, declare a enumeration enumeration is a set of names or values for example as you can see we have a uh, mouse X and mouse Y we can now declare those variables of type rotation and set its value as dot Y dot mouse Y and dot mouse X this is really important I can tell you because what it allows us to do is later on in the script because we defined the enum the enum on the very top is store these two new axes for us called y and x I can then use those to declare what the what axis has been selected on the script surface mouse X do something related to mouse X if it's mouse Y do something related to mouse Y but that won't work just with public in um, rotation axis you need another variable, variable that will store that and then allow us to uh, make changes to it through the inspector mode but we'll get to that in a minute. Let me explain a bit more about enums. Um, enums also make your um, program more readable and help you to not set integers incorrectly because enums are integers as well. Uh, <clears throat> the one thing I really want to tell you is did, if you notice the way I wrote mouse x and mouse y, I put it equals, then a zero, then a mouse why I put an equals and a one now really there's no point in doing that because an enum will automatically do that for you so if I just wrote mouse x comma mouse y it, it will automatically give it some um, set numeric numbers so mouse x would be set to zero automatically mouse y would be set to one automatically 
but the reason I'm doing that is because if you change if you put equal and put zero you can change it yourself so if I put mouse um, x to 2 and put mouse y as 1 what will happen is later on if we go to the unity inspector mode and then we click on these two arrows we're gonna get I'll show you in a bit it's gonna set the mouse y on the very first and the mouse x second so at the moment if mouse x is zero it's gonna be before mouse y yeah that's just a brief description of the gnomes they're really really interesting to use I have pasted links below for you guys to read and understand more about it and why it was invented so yeah click on the links and read it and tell me what you think right let's continue I am now going to make a variable that will store our mouse x and y so we can change it into the inspector mode so let's start let's type var which is your full variable and then rotation axis uh, rotation x and y equals rotation axis which is created on the top using the enum dot that's strange hold on rotation axis dot uh, I think it's because I've left a space here so let's join that together dot mouse x there we go that, that's perfect or rotation dot uh, rotation axis dot mouse y now let's save the script go let's go back to unity and I'm going to show you as I mentioned about the two little dots well arrows first of all drag this script onto the main camera and if you look in the inspector mode under our script we have a variable called rotation axis x and y and in there is our stored axis that we're going to use later on in the script so let's go back in and let's declare some variables for the sensitivity the minimum angle and maximum so far sensitivity uh, we're gonna set this as a float equals 400 